I'm about to set off to Halifax um, to take part in a vigil, another one. Uh, this is a place I've never been before. It's There's two different slaughterhouses that are right opposite each other. One of them is J&E Medcalf, which is a slaughterhouse that kills all sorts of different animals. Before I've only been to Manchester, where it's just a pig-specific slaughterhouse, gas chamber, etc. This is cow, pig, sheep, all sorts. The other one is Medina Poultry, which is a bit infamous because the owner is quite violent. Um, there's videos on YouTube of him punching a female activist in the face and being verbally aggressive and abusive to anyone that goes near the slaughterhouse. You Go. fucking little hippie bitch! Get the fuck off our property, I right. swear I'm gonna start smashing the legs in um, from my understanding, he's calmed down a bit now, but it will be interesting to see what happens today. But it's really no surprise that a man who spends his life killing others is violent and aggressive. The other thing is, this isn't as well established as Manchester. So Manchester Pig Save have got an agreement with the slaughterhouse workers and the trucks that they'll stop for a couple of minutes just for the activists to see um, see the animals, give them some compassion, stroke them, water, food, whatever. Halifax don't have that agreement um, and the slaughterhouse workers don't want them there, the trucks don't want to stop so it's a case of trying to get them to stop showing them that we're peaceful and we're not, not there to hit the truck drivers or the slaughterhouse workers, we're just there for the animals. So I'm a bit apprehensive about today because I've not done anything like this before. Manchester's really well established. It's, it's really easy to attend and go to, whereas this is not, not necessarily going to be the case. So I'll go there now, see how it is, and report back. So it was a really positive event because one of the trucks stopped, which is the first time that's happened. Normally they don't stop, even though you're in the road with a high vis with a big sign saying, no hate for truck drivers, please just stop for two minutes for the animals. Didn't stop, but yeah, positive. This guy was really nice. He pulled over, um, he unbuckled all the things and then pulled the big sheet across and you could see the chickens like thousands and thousands of chickens they were they were in really bad conditions feces all over them blood coming off them some of them red just really sore looking some of them had um basically skeleton visible instead of wings they just had bones no feathers no flesh it was horrible but the guy said they were in good condition. He said they're in good nick. They're in good nick. Apparently drops these chickens off every day, he usually does deliveries in London. And the reason I assume he stopped is because he knows the save movement. He knows that they operate down there and he stopped for them before, so he stopped for us. But it's interesting, isn't it, to think that if these chickens are the ones that are in good conditions, can you imagine how bad the bad ones are? It's just such a waste, such a waste of life. Such a horrible state to live in, barely managing to survive. Six weeks old, you're transported in a cram truck. First time you see outdoors, only to be killed. And it's like, for what? On the opposite side of the road, we had the other slaughterhouse. Um, there were some deliveries. There were seven sheep that were dropped off. There were some cows that were already there and possibly something else, but I can't remember what. Um, that one was weird though because there was like there was a dog running around in there. Um, and we actually had signs that said why eat one and love the other. I mean the dog gets to run around and be happy and free, and yet 
there's cows and sheep there awaiting a knife being pulled across their throat. It's very strange. I mean, we know this is strange anyway, but to see them in the same building there is, is just, just highlights the hypocrisy. A family arrived and they had a small baby, maybe like six months old, and they just walked in up the stairs into the slaughterhouse with this baby as if like, totally normal, that's just what you do with the baby, take them to the slaughterhouse, and we thought maybe they're going to go see the animals to show the animals to the baby. But there's like workers coming in and out with overalls covered in blood and animals screaming, you could hear the cows being really upset. <laughs> And then there's happy pop music in the background as well because it's, it's always like that. It was like that in Manchester and both times I went, they had really happy pop music on to try and forget, I guess, what they're doing, try and cover up the screams. You've got workers cutting the throats of animals who are screaming for their lives and then next to it you've got upbeat pop music. We had signs and we were showing them to the public and people were beeping as they went past and thumbs up. Saw the animals, recorded it, hopefully people will watch it and possibly think about their choices. But yeah, that's it anyway, just to let you know what happened. Now get the fuck off! You got a fucking picture on me cock yeah, as well! Yeah. You fucking slag! Just get back on your property! Yeah, shut the fuck up you daft old bastard!